Yo guys, what's going on? Rob with 421 Media House coming at you again with another deck review. This week I've got the new Memento Mori deck by Murphy's Magic for you. Uh, this has been an interesting deck to say the least. Uh, there's been a lot of controversy around this deck regarding Chris Ramsey and Murphy's Magic and the relationship they've had on the previous release, the uh, white Memento Mori deck. Um, I have done a full side-by-side -side comparison where I put these two decks side-by-side -side and showcase them. Um, so you guys can go watch that if you want. Uh, I also did a first impressions video, uh, but for those of you that are wondering, here's just a look at specifically this one deck. Uh, so very similar to the first Memento Mori deck, we got this skull that wraps around the deck. Uh, matte black, uh, tuck case instead of the white one. Uh, the matte black is definitely something that we see quite a bit with the luxury playing cards. Other than that, very characteristic of the previous one. Got the Murphy's Magic logo with, again, this kind of characteristic color shift on the bottom. I do like this. This is embossed uh, on the skull here. Pretty neat. Not a whole lot else to see. Uh, we do get Memento Mori on reveal on the tuck flap. And then on the inside of the tuck case, there's almost this spider web kind of pattern going on. Pretty, pretty neat. We'll pull the cards out here quickly and we'll just take a quick look at the cards. Um, you do get two jokers that have this um, phrase about time, passage of time on them. I don't speak Latin, so I don't actually know what that says. They are identical jokers other than that writing on the bottom of them. Uh, you also get a double backer with the new skull design on the back. And then you get this seven of clubs uh, Queen of Hearts um, gaff card. Let's flip this over quickly and we'll just take a look at the back design. This is a new skull. Uh, it is missing the mandible here uh, and the front teeth. Uh, it is definitely a different design. It is a unique design. Uh, was the same artist that worked on the last deck, but it is a different skull. Um, there's been a lot of jokes floating around about whose head or whose skull they used for this particular deck. Um, but overall, I just, I dig this deck. I enjoy the, the skulls and whatever not. Uh, we'll flip this over to the other side, and we'll just take a quick look at these. Uh, these are, again, a color shift across the cards, but it's a bit of a different color shift than we saw last time. Um, these pips and indices, which are pretty standard. Um, beautiful deck of cards. Um, again, same geometric patterns on the royalty, and then, again, you get that color shift. There's less green and yellow in this one, more of a blue into this pink color. Um, same thing across all the royalty. Uh, like I said, I do kind of take a pretty good look at this deck side by side with the original Memento Mori deck, so anybody that's interested can take a look at that. Uh, these are the standard um, royalty cards. They've just been geometric sized, um, and yeah. So these are exactly the same royalties as what we saw, same face cards as what we saw on the previous Memento Mori deck. Um, this is also a USPCC premium uh, crushed stock, which it handles great. Uh, it is embossed and it is performance coded. I've had this deck for about a, for a week now, and I they're super thin. They're actually thinner than the previous Memento Moris. Um, but they, they handle great. Um, they are traditionally cut, so they will ferro face down. Um, they ferro really well. They handle great. They just, they're butter in your hands. This deck's been phenomenal. I really dig it. Um, as far as cost goes, they're about 10 bucks. You can pick them up at, I got this one from a local magic shop. Um, I don't know who online is selling them yet, but yeah. That's kind of, that's it for the Memento Moris. I think I've said everything I have to say about this deck uh, over the course of the last week. I've done three videos now with them. Uh, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this content. Uh, if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys liked this video, leave me a like. And if there's anything you want to see from me in the future, be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know. Are there any decks that you want to see me review? Uh, I know last week I had proposed doing the David Blade and Skull and Bones cards this week. Unfortunately, I got my hands on these Black Memento Moris, and so I ended up doing this particular deck review first. Uh, so I'm going to bump those David Blaine cards. I'll do those ones next week for you guys. Anyway, that's all I got for today. We'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.